Hello everyone, welcome back to another how-to tutorial. In this video I will show you how to use voice dictation on Windows 10. Many Windows users do not know that there is a built-in voice dictation feature and it is very easy to activate. There is still an older speech recognition tool available in the control panel it also has more advanced features, but for this tutorial, we're going to stick with the newer and more user-friendly voice dictation. To start dictating in Windows, you need to select a text field. A text field means you need to open a Word document or web browser with a search box, for example. Once you've done that, press Windows plus H on your keyboard. A small bar with the text listening will appear at the top of your screen. It is simple as speaking after pressing Windows plus H keys. While listening is displayed, Windows will listen out for your voice. You will obviously need a microphone for this to work. Microphones integrated into laptops should work fine. Alongside the listening text, the microphone icon color will be blue. After 10 seconds of silence, the microphone icon will turn black again. And the listening text will disappear. It will also stop listening after you type with a keyboard. A quick beep whenever Windows 10 starts or stops listening to your voice will be all you hear. To start dictating again, press Windows plus H keys or click the microphone icon. Voice dictation on Windows is best for quick notes, performing a web search or social media messages. Not that good for writing a document, or an important email. Dictation will not register punctuation. Speak punctuation if you want to use it. Finally, voice commands do not always work consistently. The dictation feature understands words that are spoken, but it can also insert words that are not meant to be added, like add comma as a word instead of a symbol. Just something to remember when you're writing more important stuff. You have been watching a how-to tutorial from David Riley. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. To receive notifications about every new video, you can also turn on the notifications bell by clicking or tapping it. You can also leave a comment down below. Your ideas and suggestions are always welcome. Until the next time, take care everyone.